Clear! Woodstock traffic, Julia Papa Hotel departing 13, left hand departure climbing 2000 Woodstock. Well, hi there. As you can tell from the title of the video, I'm sure, this is uh, part one of uh, installing, installing, yeah, that's a word, installing vortex generators on the wing. The idea behind vortex generators is to allow the plane to fly more slowly. And you may be wondering why you want a plane to fly slowly. Don't you want airplanes to fly fast so that you can go places quicker, Lear? Quicker, yeah, that's a word. Well, yes, that's great. You want to go fast when you're cruising, but when you're coming in to land, the slower you are, the shorter you can land, which means you can go into shorter strips. And not only that, might as well take the parachute pin out, that way we can use that just in case. Uh, not only that, it makes your stall uh, a little bit more benign, if you will. So, uh, when I say stall, I understand I have some people who aren't airplane um, like pilots or enthusiasts or whatever, I guess you're an airplane enthusiast, but you might not know everything about airplanes, which is fine. You don't have to. Um, but when I mean stall, I don't mean the engine quitting, I mean the wing not producing lift anymore. So when the airplane gets to an angle of attack that's more than the critical angle of attack, the air, instead of flowing smoothly over the top of the wing, goes straight over and creates turbulence, and the wing can't create lift anymore, and the nose will drop. So vortex generators allow the air to stick more smoothly to the top of the wing so that it doesn't separate, causing the airplane to lose lift and, and drop the nose. So what I want to find out on this flight is what speed do I stall at? And then I'm going to land and I'm going to install the vortex generators and then I'm going to go up and I'm going to fly again and see if I have decreased the speed at which I stall. So I guess in a couple of minutes here, we're at 3,000 already. I thought the clouds were lower than that, so that's fantastic. We'll do, uh, we'll do 35. That gives us 3,000 feet off the ground, which will give us plenty of room to recover if our stall goes uh, sideways. So before you do abrupt maneuvers, like such as stalls, you should always check the area that you are flying over and around. So we do a, what's called a hazel check. So H stands for height, and do I have enough height? I do. A is area. So I, I want to just not be over congested area. S is for secure, is the cockpit secure? E is for engine, are all of my engine temperatures and pressures in the green? And then L is for lookout. So I'm gonna just look around and make sure there aren't other, other, air, other, other? Make sure there aren't any other airplanes flying around in this area that I could potentially fly into. So we can go ahead and bring the power back to idle. And I'm just gonna keep the plane level. I want to do a power off stall. So. My airspeed indicator tells me that that should be around 40 miles, uh, 40 knots, which is 45 miles an hour. So let's see what happens here. There's 55, 50, 45, there's 40. There's a stick all the way back, and there's sort of the stall. The nose, the, the one wing was starting to fall, and the nose was coming down. So there's my stall, right around 40 miles an hour, or 40 knots, I guess. So I'm going to do the same thing, but this time with full flaps. There's the flaps in, and I'm going to see that should bring me down to uh, a little bit over 30 knots now. So let's see what that does. So there's 30 knots, and there's the drop right there on the end of the white line. So that's perfect. So now I'm going to take the, the flaps out because I want to do a power on with no flaps. So I'm going to go full power, and I'm going to just let the airplane climb more than I would normally let it climb. So there's 40. There's 30, there it is, right around 30. All right, so that was with the flaps up. Let's do that with the flaps down now. So we'll go into our climb and put our power in and then just climb until it falls again. There's 25, 20. Oh, there's a spin, there we go. No intentional spins, it said, that was accidental. All right, so uh, I said those numbers out loud so I can go back through the camera footage and remember what it is I said, because I can't remember. I should have written it down, but that's why I've got the camera recording. So let's go back to the airport and do a landing and put some VGs on. Exciting, huh? I probably won't show all that part. 
Woodstock traffic, Julia Papa Hotel joining left base runway 13, Woodstock. Woodstock traffic, Julia Papa Hotel turning final 13, full stop, Woodstock. Woodstock traffic, Julia Papa Hotel, clear runway 13, Woodstock. All right, there they are. 88 Vortex generators installed. All the way down both wings. So for those interested, I set them three and a half inches back, three and a quarter inches apart and they're all at a 15 degree angle i know the tape i thought it was white it should have matched better it's more of a beige than white it's irritating but nobody sees it from down here anyway um, if they are successful and everything goes well i will probably just put them on permanently with some super glue as is recommended by the manufacturer of them so we'll see how they do let's go try it out again clear Well, here we are. This is the day after the previous bit of the video. It did take me all day to get the Vortex generators installed. Uh, the actual installation process isn't hard. It's coming up with a plan to install them and how to do it properly without uh, messing it up. Because they all got to go on in pretty specific locations. Anyway, I built the template and did a whole bunch of stuff and calculating and math and measuring and stuff. But now we get to find out if it was all worth it. So the first thing I want to check is to make sure that my cruise speed hasn't decreased any. So yesterday I was doing 89 at 4,800 RPM. And I'm, I'm at 92, actually, 91. So a mile an hour, two miles an hour faster, probably not actually. All that shows is, I mean, that's such a small margin of error. There, there's 89 there. So no difference. Putting BGs on does not decrease your cruise speed. All right, so cruise speed unaffected. Let's do some stalls. We'll do a quick hazel check here to make sure all is well. I'll start slowing down while I'm doing it. All right, so our height's good, our area is good. Uh, the cockpit is secure. The engine is all in the green. And in terms of lookout, there's a uh, there's nobody else around, so I think we're good. So, let's go ahead and pull the power out and just do a flaps off. Flaps up, power off, stall. So we're looking for anything slower than 40 would mean that we've been successful here. So there's 35, there's 30, there's 30. Six all the way back. We're dropping at about 500 feet a minute, and the nose is not breaking, so 30. So we've lost uh, 10 miles an hour. I mean, we're not climbing at all, but can I hold it at 30? So yesterday at 40, the nose broke and the nose dropped. I'm at 31 right now, there's 30, and I'm climbing. So 3,700 RPM, 30 mi 28 miles an hour now, 29. And I'm still climbing 40 feet a minute. There's 25. Oh, there's a stall right there. 25 knots from 40. That is insane. So I would hazard a guess that the VGs have been successful. Let's do that with the flaps on. <laughs> this is something I'm excited for. 
All right, so same thing. I'll bring the power out, first of all. We'll just go to nothing. Okay, so 25 and the nose is dropping. So let's bring the power back in. 20, zero, not quite, maybe 10. I understand, I'm, there it is, right there. All right. So, uh, slow enough that I don't really have to worry about um, losing lift whenever I'm coming into land as long as I keep it above 20 miles an hour with full flaps on. <laughs> All right, flaps off, and we'll do a quick check, and we're going to do a power on stall. So, everything is still good. We're going to go full power. We're going to go into a climb. This is going to simulate a takeoff stall, if I got silly. There's 30, 25, 20. All right, so about 18. All right, now let's do that with flaps. There's full power, 20. 15, 0. So when it gets to the 0, I guess, it will, uh, it'll stall. So I'm pretty safe climbing out at whatever speed I want as long as I have airspeed indication. I, I think that's a success. What do you guys think? I'll put the numbers again so you don't have to rewind or remember what I said for everything. I'll put them in the comments. So you can go in the comment, or not in the comment section, in the description. So you can go and look at my numbers. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. So I think we'll just uh, we'll go back and land, and I guess I'll go find some breakfast. What's up, Traffic Julia Papa Hotel, final three one, full stop, what's up? Woodstock traffic, Julia Papa Hotel, clear runway 31, Woodstock. All right, that's all for now. We'll see you next time.